Rob, if you can kind of just reflect on, on the last four years, and d despite the result today, you come out here and score 37 points and all the work that, that you kind of put in your, your first two years, can you just talk about what, what, the, what WC's meant to you, what, what the, the, the home crowd here has meant to you? Um, you know, coming in as an 18-year-old, uh, you know, I was, I was kind of lost, um, out of shape, um, not really focused. Um, and, you know, coming here uh, with WSU, they, they, they just treated me like a family ever since I stepped in the door. They were patient with me, um, you know, and then um, it finally clicked for me, my work tactic, uh, knowing, knowing, knowing what I need to do day in and day out. And um, it's just, it, it really hasn't, hasn't hit me yet that I, I'm done playing Beasley. Uh, and, you know, I just want to thank, you know, everybody um, that supported me, helped me, motivated me uh, for four years here. It means so much, and I, I thank everybody uh, that came to the game today. Uh, it, re it really means a lot, and um, it's something that I won't forget. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a cool, cool for life, and um, I just, <laughs> it, it's so much going through right now. I, I don't want to uh, miss anything, but um, if, if anybody's listening right now, I just want to thank everybody. Um, that's helped me do this do this long journey. It, it really means a lot, and um, Kook for life, and, and, and go Kooks. Did you feel a little bit more locked in today? It seemed like you kind of got into a zone pretty early on. You, you were kind of playing with Forrester at the game, and a lot of energy probably led to a few of the fouls too, but it seemed, seemed like you had energy the whole game and were playing pretty confident. Yeah, I just wanted to go out there and just, just give it everything I had one more time in Beasley and um, try to win. Oh, unfortunately, we couldn't get the win, um, but uh, – you know, as of right now, you know it, it, it's it's over, and we got to get ready for the Pac-12 tournament. And for Jeff, do you, do you think this game was kind of symbolic of what he's done the, the last two to three years here? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, Robo's been such an impact on the floor since since he came here. You know, since you know I came in as a freshman, he was a sophomore. You could, you could tell right away that that Robo was a special player, and he's got a lot of a lot of skill, a lot of a lot of potential and stuff. And so, um, you know, kind of to to have him on his senior day, you know, go off for for thirty seven points and and kind of just play his game and stuff. It was, it's it, it is kind of you know kind of symbolic of of what he's done here. And then Jeff, you see not only Robert but another player like Fiante, in state kid, spent all four years here. Just what do you think that means to this program, and what's it been like having them in the locker room for these past four years? I mean, it's 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 been incredible to have two guys like like Robo and V in the locker room because since I came here, you know they were they were a year ahead of me and stuff. Um, but just to have them, just to have them around and their their you know their spirit and their their knowledge of the game and stuff to have that in the locker room has has been huge and I think it's been a been a big boost for this program. Robert, fans obviously see the numbers; they see the most improved player of the year award. But what do you hope that people in and around Pullman remember you and your career here most by? Um, I just want to, I just want them to, them to remember me as a hardworking kid, um, that, that, that gave everything to this program for four years. Um, you know, despite not going out on top, going out on a winner, um, I just want to let, I just want, I want everybody to know and, you know, have in their hearts that I was, I was a hardworking kid, um, from, from start to finish ever since I got on campus. Rob, do you have the uh, career high in your mind there, late in the game there, to, trying to hit that maybe? Uh, no, I was just trying to do everything I can just to just try to bring bring us back and um, and uh, and win the game. And uh, Jeff, I guess uh, in this season we've seen some second half struggles. Is it something maybe about wearing down or, or the other team adjusting? Where would you sort of pinpoint tonight in comparison to past games? I mean, I feel like it, it has a little bit to do with both. Um, you know, second half has been kind of a struggle for us, and that's probably on us to to um, keep keep our consistency together, keep our focus going um, for a whole 40 minutes. Robert, after the game, I watched you go into the stands, and you had parents telling you their kids love you. You had people asking you to please come to their NBA teams. You took pictures. You signed autographs. What does it mean for you to mean that much to the people in this community? Uh, it's it's. Uh... It's so heartwarming, um, you know. That, that, that feeling is just—I uh, I can't really describe it. You know, you know, just just to see me being a role model in this community um, is something I, I kind of didn't think think of going in as as a freshman and, and to leave, knowing so so much kids and, and parents look up to me. It, it, it means it means the world to me.